Hello everyone. Let's um, deal with this very quickly. Okay, so we have um, square root of x plus x over 2 equals x over 4. Now, what we're going to do is to find um, the square root of this. I mean the LCM of 2 and 4. Before then, subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos like this one. Trust me, this is going to be interesting. Now, the LCM of 2 and 4 is um, 4. So, we're going to multiply 4 by each of these terms. I mean, all of the terms. So, we're going to have 4 multiplied by root x plus 4 multiplied by x over 2 equals 4 multiplied by x over 4. Now, here we have 4 root x plus 2 will go there. We have 2x. That is equal to 4 will go here. We have 1x. Okay. By the way, I know that it's interesting already. So, subscribe to my channel for more of this. Now, let's bring this to the left. So, we have 4 root x plus 2x minus x equals 0. Because nothing is on the other side anymore. So, 4 root x plus x is equal to 0. Now, what do I do from here? We are trying to, you know, we are trying to remove the square root from here. But to do that, you can decide to even take this to the other side. So if you do that, you're going to have 4 root x equals negative x. Because this plus x will become negative x on the, on the other side. Now, let's divide by 4. I'm doing this so that root x will be alone. Since we want to remove the x. So we have, since we want to remove the root. We have root x equals negative x over 4. And at this point... To remove the square root, we square. We we'll also square this. Now, what again should we do? To proceed with this, we are going to have um, this to cancel this. Now, x is there. Minus x squared will give us um, x squared. You know, it's going to turn to positive. Right? Then, divided by 4 squared is going to give us 16. Now, we can cross multiply now, because this is over 1. x squared times 1 is x squared equals 16x. Do not divide by 16, or do not divide by x. You would rather bring this to the left. So, we have x squared minus 16x equals 0. So, from here now, this is a quadratic equation with the power, I mean with the, with two solutions, just that the constant is missing. What is common to these two is x. What will be left here is x, minus what is here is going to be 16. Then everything is equal to 0. So it is either x is equal to 0 now, or x minus 16 is equal to 0. x is equal to 0, or x is equal to 0 plus 16. So our x is 0 or x is equal to 16. So from here we have two values for the equation. And we are going to confirm whether both of them can satisfy. So let's go and verify. Okay, so we want to verify. But before then, let's combine this. Therefore, x equals 0 or 16. Remember the original equation is square root of x plus x over 2 equals x over 4. Now let's put 0 first. If we put 0 here, we have square root of 0 plus x is 0 over 2 equals 0 over 4. We are trying to verify. Now, square root of 0 is 0, plus 0 over 2 is also 0. 
then on the other hand 0 over 4 is also 0 so 0 plus 0 is um, 0 and that's equal to 0 on the other hand so this means that x equals 0 satisfies right away we'll go to the other value of x which is 16 so that means we have square root of 16 because we have x over there let's take a look at the equation again we have root x plus x over 2 equals x over 4 so in place of root x i'll have this plus 16 over 16 over 2 because x is 16 equals x is 16 again so i have 16 over 4. now obviously on this side we are having 4 because 16 divided by 4 is 4. now we have 16 divided by 2 here that is going to be 8 right and then from here we have um square root of 16 which will give um, 4 and when you add this up um, 4 plus 8 is equal to 12 and not 4 so that means that the second value which is um, x equals 16 has to be rejected since it does not satisfy the equation if you are new to my channel subscribe to my channel so that you can get more of my videos. Well done.